First, I want to give you an update, show you um, sort of how our kids um, were able to see our kids. Uh, but she just finished boot camp. She so got me a little flip screen for vlog. I mean, oh, I wish you could smell it. First, I want to give you an update, show you um, sort of how our Christmas went. Yes. And here's Roscoe. If you guys are new here, then uh, meet Roscoe, my trusty sidekick. He's an 11-year-old standard Yorkie, and he's just the sweetest thing. Very spoiled, though, yes. Uh, as you guys know, because if you were watching us through Vlogmas, you saw how picky he was with his treats. And I ended up with a uh, Trader Joe's advent calendar that he wasn't eating. So then we switched over to um, to Dreambone uh, advent calendar that I found online at, on Amazon. And he likes it a lot. So so he's been finishing off his uh, Dreambone advent calendar. And he's got some catching up to do. So we'll probably keep doing that through the middle of next month. <laughs> but what I ended up doing was uh, the Trader Joe's treats. Uh, they were individually wrapped, so I took them all out of the box, put them in a bag, and I shared them with a friend whose uh, puppy is really enjoying them. <laughs> so, um, first of all, Christmas uh, was really, really nice, a very small gathering, um, just John and myself, and then our kids, uh, we were able to see our kids. Uh, our son came in with his girlfriend, and she's home from the Army, so we were very thankful that she could be here. Of course, she had to quarantine before and quarantine after, and um, she's going to head back, and they'll actually quarantine her before they she goes back in on base and all of that. Uh, but she just finished boot camp, so um, and they stayed in a hotel. You know, they we and were they did wear a mask. She was just really really careful. Uh, we wanted to be careful for her, you know, um, but we did get to see them for a little while, and we were so happy, so so happy. Um, and then my daughter, of course, which I've got to, I saw her the other day. She worked Christmas Eve night all night, uh, but then she did stop by the next morning and dropped off some gifts. And I wanted to show you, uh, first of all, just what she got me, which was really, really sweet. It's a, a flip screen to go with my GoPro. So um, I usually film like if I'm at home, like right now, I'm just using my, my phone uh, to film. But when I do, when I'm out and about and doing shopping hauls and things like that, I switch to my GoPro. And she actually got me a little flip screen for vlogging. I don't know how it's going to work. I'll keep you guys posted. But uh, that was really, really sweet of her. And and then, um, so then my my son and his girlfriend got us uh, got me a couple things. They got John something separate. Well, and my daughter bought my my husband something. You know, John something separate too. But these were some things that my son and his girlfriend gave us, which means she. Picked most, well, they both picked them out. So they got me a couple of these. Let me put my reading glasses on real quick so I can read this. I just thought these were so interesting. This is, it's Your Green Kitchen. And these are made out of some kind of a wax. So it's zero waste fabric bowl covers. And I think they're made out of some kind of wax or something. It's hum of the bees is the voice of the garden. That's a quote by Elizabeth Lawrence. And it's, it's, I'm not exactly sure, but it may, it feels like it's a very kind of waxy material. And I, I guess you, she said you can wash these in the dishwasher, but they're bowl covers. So you can cover bowls with them. And I just thought that was really, really cool. There's this one. And then there's this one, which is a little different. This one feels more like a flower sack. This one feels more waxy, and this one feels more like a flower sack. And um, but they're both the same brand. It's from Your Green Kitchen. And this one says, um, "Age is something that doesn't matter unless you are cheese." <laughs> <laughs> so isn't that cute and it's got elastic they both they're both the same they're just made out of a it's kind of a different material this is by far more stiff but they're bowl covers and I thought that was really really clever so yep so I got those and then I got this uh, which is uh, let me just put my reading glasses back on so this is beeswax it's 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 called bees wrap and it's a food wrap and 
wrap, rinse, and reuse. So you can wrap with them and then you, uh, you can wash them and reuse them. And it's a roll. I haven't opened it yet, but it's like, it's kind of like saran wrap. And so you open it up and it's a roll and then you use it like saran wrap to cover, uh, your dishes and things like that. But then you can rinse it and reuse it. I thought that was really, really interesting. So it's a, uh, it's beeswax or bees wrap your way. Cut your own a variety of sizes. So you can cut the sizes you want. And this is the extra large size. So I guess it's an extra wide, which is kind of like the length of my forearm. I think it's really clever. I'm looking forward to trying that. So, and, oh, and then they got me some of this tea. And this is tea drops. It's chai spice and it's tea drops. And I haven't tried it yet, but I plan to later today. And this you can, got to put my reading glasses back on, but um, it's, I haven't, un well, yeah, I can, I guess I can pull the top off if maybe. No, but there's a sticker. Well, let me just go ahead and pull the sticker off. Cause I did, I didn't, I don't know anything about these. I've never used these, but they're drops. They're not tea bags, they're drops. And you just put them in your hot water. Oh, they're just a pack. So they're a pack, but it's a drop. And then she said, just open the pack and you pour it in your hot water. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Again, this is the uh, the uh, chai spice and it has uh, black tea and it has cardigan, um, oh, cardamom and ginger and cinnamon. And from what I understand, that's pretty healthy. I know I always hear ginger is, is really good for women and I, I love ginger snaps, but I really haven't been drinking much ginger or have, or spicing things with it. Uh, let me show you, where's my little, um, is that it? Yeah. I want to show you this really quick. So cold brew coffee, and this will be really interesting to try. It is, it's glass and apparently, uh, you just brew your coffee in here and it actually has a thing to how to make it overnight or like make your overnight. So it says pour over hot, cold, hot and cold brew bottle. Brew your personal cup of joe anywhere you go, whether hot or cold, light or bold, your perfectly crafted coffee is uh, brew me away. So it is brew me, B-R-U-M-I, brew me away. And I read that without my reading glasses. <laughs> so, um, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I've already, dabbled in this. <laughs> they bought me a few things from the body shop. This was wonderful. It's the almond milk body yogurt. <laughs> and it's, it's really good lotion, really good lotion. I love this and I love the scent and it, the almond milk and honey. This is a shower cream. I actually, you can tell I kind of got into that last night. And then, um, this is a hand cream, which I haven't used yet, but this smelled so good. And this lotion is just, oh, you can see, I mean, oh, I wish you could smell it. It is just so, um, what is that word? Just silky, just silky smooth. And I just haven't got anything like this for myself in a while. There is a, a, a store, it's called Lush, that um, I used to go to when we would go shopping in a nearby town and it closed. I know I can order stuff online, but you know, I just, it's hard for me to order stuff online. I like to go into the store and smell and look and see if it's something I want. So yeah. So I just thought I would share those few things with you. And there were a few other things, but these are the things that just my daughter and my, my son and his girlfriend just really made me feel so loved um, this, this Christmas. It was nice. And uh, just an update. I, I, John and I did our little video on Christmas Day and we had mentioned we had a loved one in the hospital. So I just wanted to share a little more about that because uh, I was asked, a couple of you reached out and um, I, I didn't want you to worry. So over Christmas, we had a couple of our close, close family members uh, go into the hospital and not because of the virus, you know, not because of COVID. It was uh, not related to that. 
But um, in both cases, both of our loved ones went in and were released and then had to go back in. It was just, uh, you know, what was interesting is, um, you know, we knew about the one it was sort of planned, but the second member we didn't, uh, that was unexpected. And that happened uh, that few days before Christmas. And we weren't expecting that. Uh, and so it was just, um, you know, I think for a lot of people, this Christmas was, you know, not what we would have planned for ourselves. But we, you know, there's, we don't have control over everything. So you have to take moments like that. And you, for me, when those things happen, I just remember to look at what I'm grateful for. Um, that is really, I think, so powerful. And for me, just, just leaning into and sinking into those things that people that I loved, um, you know, really showed up and did for me. It was, it just meant so much. So, um, yeah. So I want to thank you guys so much for your comments and your prayers. And when I, uh, finally was catching up on my comments, uh, the last couple of days, cause I sort of got behind, I realized just how much I miss that. I mean, I don't like to let my comments sit too long. And if they do sit, it's because I might have read them, but I don't want to just do a quick reply. I like to sit down and really reply to my comments. It, they mean so much to me for, that you take a moment not only to watch my video and hit the like button, but that you actually take time to leave me a comment. If that you all are to me is that you spend any amount of time on my channel uh, when there are so many other things you could be doing uh, with your precious time. Uh, that means so much, especially this year when it's been such a tough year for everyone uh, and the fact that you continue to show up for me. And I want to continue to show up for you in 2021. So I'm going to be working on my content planning coming up. And a lot of it is focused around self-care, around valuing yourself wherever you are, whatever phase you are in life. You know, we're, there's seasons for everything. And I'm in an empty nest season right now. And so many things have changed about my life. And I know they're going to continue to change. Uh, change is the one thing that is constant. Change is the one thing that is constant. And life can change on a dime. So I think it's just so important to take moments like this to really sit and appreciate what we have. And that's what I wanted to do today. I appreciate all of these wonderful uh, things that my kids did for me. And I appreciate you for being here and commenting and uh, being my friend here on this platform. It really does mean so much. And some things are out of our control, but there's so many other things that are in our control. And I wanna focus on those. This is, this is the time of year that I always sit down and uh, sort of reflect on how my year went, the changes that I wanna make, what worked, what didn't work. And there's a lot of things that I would like to change, but there's a lot of things that I think uh, I want to give myself credit for as well. And I think we've got to do that. We've got to focus on what we did right and build on that foundation. So no matter what went wrong, there's got to be one or two things at least that went right. And I'm going to just focus on that. So, um, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Take good care and I'll see you next time. Bye.